Tennessee Waltz is a beautiful song that gets called off at many country and bluegrass jam sessions. The song frequently gets called off in the keys of either G or C. We will show you a nice solo in the key of G on strings 3, 2, and 1. Should you like to hear it in the key of C, just move the entire solo over to strings 4, 3, and 2. It's always good to know the chords to any song you'll be soloing to. In this case, you might need to help those backing you up find the second chord that happens on the bridge part. I remember the night. We're in the key of G and we get a B7 chord. That's where the melody goes. It lands on the note A, so people start guessing some pretty strange chords, but it's actually a B7. So in the key of C, that would be E7. A good place to start building an arrangement for such a beautiful song is to try to figure out just what the singer would be singing. So we'll first do that and play that for you. Notice where I play frets 3, 5, and 7. It could be in the position to where I would use fingers 2, 3, and 4. I'm going to use 1, 2, and 3 to prepare you for what we'll play later. So these are the elements that I'll add to my basic melody to create an embellished solo. The family of slurs includes slides, hammer-ons, and pull-offs. Right off the bat, I begin with a slide. The concept of passing notes simply means you'll be adding notes in between the melody notes. So we started off with the melody. By doing that pull-off, another slur, I got an extra melody note there. That's not part of what the singer would sing. Adding double stops, pairs of notes, will make your sound a little fuller. You can even slide into those double stops. Another way I use double stops is to do a hammer into the double stop. Tags are short phrases that fill up the space between the vocal phrases. Here's halfway through the verse. Etc. It's always good to find a spot to put in a little bit of tremolo to remind people that yes, this is a mandolin. Next, I share with you a little color-coded chart to show you where I put in each of these techniques throughout my solo. Here's the verse. And here is the same coding with the bridge part. Now here's the complete solo I developed using all these techniques. I don't really have a tab to offer you because I will play it different each time. 
still using the same techniques and I encourage you to try to come up with slightly different ways than you hear me do it. Thank you.